Okay then guys, so this is a quick podcast to help you set up Audacity on your computer so that you can record sounds like your own voice or whatever else you want to record and change those sounds into an MP3 file that can be put on an iPod or a mobile phone or a computer or whatever else. So the first step in this process is to go to this website here and the address is at the top there, http dot dot or sorry, colon slash slash audacity dot sourceforge.net and that's will be up there for a little while while I'm talking so you can pause it and copy that into your browser and you go to that website and, and this pops up here now the next thing I'm going to do is really really straightforward I just click double or double click with my left mouse button download audacity thing there okay and then I'm going to hover over this thing here that says audacity 1.2 installer and I'm going to click that one as well so that's going to take me through to another page it'll take a couple of seconds to have that page come up on the screen, hopefully not too long. And here it is. So my Audacity download would start shortly. Hopefully reasonably shortly. Right, cool. Now you just see at the top of the screen just here, we've got this band that's popped up. It says to help protect your security internet. Explorer block this site from downloading files to your computer. Click here for options. That's exactly what I want you to do. Just one one click of your left mouse button and up pops this little thing here. Now I know that this website's safe to use. I've used it many times. It's a reputable website. So I'm just going to click download file there. And that's going to then hopefully start the download. And here we go. So it's just restarting this little page. Hey presto. Okay good. So file download now I want to save this file. So I'm going to click save and then I've got to choose a place to save it so I'm going to just like I would save in a, a, a word file I'm going to choose a good place to save it so I've actually created a file a folder there called audacity click that and I'm just gonna just quickly delete that on there yeah. so just ignore me there so I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly save it to this file and hopefully this take no time at all saying 17 seconds there I think it's gonna be even quicker than that but then maybe I'm a little bit optimistic so we can just see that bar moving across there as the download happens and this new piece of software makes it its way over to my laptop computer computer. All good, excellent, right. So download is complete and on next I'm gonna choose run. And I'm gonna choose run again. And hopefully this will set this up right. So welcome to the Audacity setup. So this is really straightforward. All I'm gonna do is click next. Hopefully going to click next. There we go. I'm going to click accept the agreement because it's all good. That is, it's not a problem at all. We need to worry about. So click next again and next again. And this is just choosing where to save it. It will save it automatically to this area of your hard drive in your computer called program files, which is good. Next again. Keep those boxes ticked. Next again. And then finally click install. And there we go. Awesome. So now if I click finish, and um, because this box is ticked here, Audacity will start up automatically, and away we go. Now, there is something else that we need to do here. So um, we also need to go and download a little extra file that makes Audacity work just a little bit better and allows it to actually make those MP3 files. So that's what I'm going to show you next. Okay, guys, so this part of the podcast is just showing this uh, little file that we need to download to allow um, allow. Uh, audacity to work properly and to create these mp3s so I've gone to this website this time this is http colon slash slash lame or lane dot buanzo b-u-a-n-z-o dot com dot a-r and then a slash brings us to this page and it's this link here that's really important so I'm going to just give this one quick click and this box pops up here and I'm going to click save and I it's I'm going to save this in my Audacity folder that I created already. It's in my documents. I'm just going to click save again. And that seems all good. So now I'm going to click run. And then run again. And then next. I'm going to agree or accept the agreement. This is all good. I'm happy with that. I'm going to click next again. And I just want to quickly note this is saving this in program files, which is on my C drive. That's all good. Next again. And then finally, I'm going to click install. And that's all done now. It should be good. So now all we need to do is just to quickly make sure we've got Audacity working completely properly. So I'm just going to do a quick test and make sure I've finished the last little change that we need to make. So I'm going to open Audacity up. I'm going to just create a quick track, quick sound file there. 
that should do it and now I'm going to go to this file button at the top so I just press the record and stop just to create a little thing there and then I'm going to try and export that as an mp3 so I click file and I go down to this option just here which is export as mp3 so I'm going to click on that and then it says how to podcast this is where I'm actually doing my little saving my podcast here so I'm just going to quickly write test 2 that's just my file name and I'm going to click save now here we go it says uh, Audacity does not support mp3 files directly but instead uses this blah 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 whatever that says that's fine all we need to do is click yes and then we need to find this little Kodak so I'm just going to go to my computer I'm going to go to local disk I'm going to go to program files and I'm going to go to LAME for my for Audacity and I'm just going to show you that once more so I can make sure that you see that properly so I'm just going to quickly go through the whole process again file export as LA as, as thing I'm going to type in file name which I'm going to call mine just test2 doesn't matter what you call it and then I'm going to click yes here and then I'm going to go again to my computer local disk go to program files and I'm going to go to lame for audacity which is what we've got a little thingy saved into and I'm just going to click that there and click open and I'm going to click OK on this bit and we should be all good I'll just do one quick test so we'll quickly record it yep there's our little sound file and let's see if it works without giving me that we cannot export as mp3 thing again and test 3 this time you can see that our file there test 2 was turned into an mp3 so that's successfully been created by the looks of things save ok and that's it audacity is now ready to go I hope that was helpful guys thanks again speak to you soon